Hello viewer, the Lord who has been good to all has this day brought you an amazing opportunity right in the comfort of your home to watch this TV evangelistic program titled Great Hope. Join us weekly for messages of hope in our troubled world on this program brought to you by Seventh-day Adventist Church. May God bless you real good as you watch. Welcome to Great Hope. I declare that the hope of God shall rise upon you because there is hope for you. I want to welcome you to the series that we are starting today, and that is the Bible and spirituality. The Bible and spirituality. And for today, our first message in the series of 13 is titled, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. You may want to repeat that after me. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we call upon you at this moment to open our eyes that we may behold wondrous things from your word. Take charge of this moment. I ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Open with me to the 139th division of the book of Psalms. Psalm 139, and let us look at verse 13 all the way to verse 18. You may want to open your Bible with me. The Bible says, the psalm is speaking. For you formed my inward part. You covered me in my mother's womb. Oh, I will pray to you, for I am praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame is not hidden from you. When I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest part of the earth, your eyes saw my substance being yet unformed. And in your book, they are all written. The days are fashioned for me, when as yet there was none of them. Verse 17. How precious are your thoughts towards me, O God? How great is the sum of them? Verse 18. If I should count them, they will be more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I want you to take note of verse 14. It says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I declare according to the word of God today that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Say that about yourself. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. In fact, better put, you can say I am an awesome wonder. You are not a speck of dust. You are not an, a result of accident. You are not an afterthought. You are a combination of what God put together in a marvelous way. Do you know that whether it's the DNA you want to look at or the brain or the, or the cells of the body or the skin or the eye, you will see that God put something together called a human body. It's better than machine. Scientists tell us today that if you were to calculate the length of your DNA as a single human being and we should stretch it it will go across the diameter, the old diameter of the solar system, one person's DNA. If we could decode the information in your DNA, 
we will need more than 1,000 encyclopedia to record the information in it. Oh, yes, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are an awesome wonder. Would you say that about yourself? I am an awesome wonder. I have not come as a result of some big bang somewhere. God put me together. The human body is mysterious and sophisticated, vibrating with energy. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, scientists have, have given a lot of information. They still are studying the, the fountain of secrets that God put together called the human body. Consider the wonders of the skin, the human skin. Look at the strength of the bones, the structures, the dynamic balance of the muscles. The human physical being, I tell you, is, is patterned after an inconceivable purpose that only God can declare. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. The human body, so sophisticated and important. Now, let's, let's take the bones, for instance. As an infant... You have between 300 and 350 bones. But the adult will then have about 206 bones because some of it has combined. These bones, they, they keep the, the delicate internal structures together and they make movement possible. God has intricately put you together. I say you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are an awesome wonder from the hands of a loving creator. Do you believe that this day? What about the nervous system of the human body? A system of information and communication and control. An amazing system that God invented. In fact, it is the wires and, and, and optical cables have been patterned after the working of the, of the nervous system. God put it together. So we can perceive and interpret and respond to what is going on in our environment. God put you together so specially, my brother. No matter what's going on in your life right now, my sister, I need you to know that you are an awesome wonder. Don't believe what they just told you. Don't believe what the doctor said. Because God put you together fearfully and wonderfully. If you will believe that, your life will change. Shall I talk about the brain's extraordinary and complex design? Which is the most fascinating in the whole universe. The human brain, the home of the mind and the human persona. Our cherished memories of life, the brain controls of that, is the seat of human judgment. Do you know that your brain, the human brain, can hold five times as much information as the Encyclopedia Britannica? Your brain. We don't even use 10% of it, even the best of us. An average human brain can, has about 86 billion neurons. Did you hear that? 86 billion neurons. Technical speaking, I tell you, the human mind has a hard disk of infinite gigabytes of memory. The human brain, its RAM is immeasurable. The potential of the human brain is overwhelming. Why? Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made, put together by a loving father. Let's talk about the heart that pumps about 75 times every minute, about 40 million times every year. And in the life of a, a lifespan of an average human being, about 25 billion times. You see, each beat discharges about four ounces of blood. And you can see about 3,000 gallons per day of blood pumping. And God keeps you breathing and pumping. I know that because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. What do you say out there? God has put you together for a purpose. And he loves you. There is something called the, the human echolocation. Which activates the, 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 the visual parts of the brain. In fact, those maybe who cannot see. They, they develop a, a special power. So they can find their way through 
echolocation. The brain is so powerful. What about the, 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 the digestive tract? Time will not permit me to talk about the various organs, the longevity of the heart, the formation and the function of the nerves, the blood vessel, the cleansing of the blood through the, kidney, the kidneys, the complexities of the inner and the middle air, and the marvel of taste and smell, and all the other things that got put together in the person called you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. If you believe that, I, I hope you shout a loud amen out there where you are. It was C.S. Lewis who said, and I quote, If we saw how glorious we all are as creations of God, we will be tempted to bow down and worship the very people we slander. What God has put together in the human body call you is marvelous and wonderful. You are an awesome wonder. Do you believe that today? But I'm here to let you know that you are not just a bundle of molecules. You're not just a combination of elements and substances and cells. Oh no. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1 that you were made in the image of the almighty God. That's a mouthful right there. God made you to look like him. Not just in the physical appearance, but to look at him in thought. To be able to be rational. To be able to love and accept love. God made you in his image. He made you with authority. He gave you dominion. There is kingship in you. You are more than just a speck of dust as some will have you believe. You are made in the image of the almighty God. Let me tell you brothers and sisters, you are a spiritual being. Not just a physical being. Not just mental and emotional. But all of this combined makes you a whole being. You cannot split it together. You can split it. You are a spiritual being. You may deny it. <laughs> oh, yes, you may. But you cannot stop it from operating. You are a spiritual being. God put a spirit inside you like a lantern to search your soul. It is important for you to know that you cannot fragmentalize life. You can't divide life up. That would be very fatal. You are a spiritual being. It might be the reason why you have not found joy and optimal performance in your life is because you have attempted to dichotomize life. God put his spirit inside you and he desires to connect with you. He wants to speak to you. He wants to inspire you. He wants to walk with you. He wants to lead you. He's got a purpose for your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are an awesome wonder. God made you so you can reflect him. I think of a bird that is supposed to fly in the air that you put in a cage. Oh, you may even put AC in that cage, put toys in that cage. You may put diamond in that cage, but the bird still feels out of place. Why? Because the bird is made to fly free in the skies. That's why I'm telling you, until you connect with your spiritual self, until you open your mind and let God plug in his power into your life, you're living as it were in bondage. Oh, and somebody tells me, oh no, I'm not in bondage. There are people who think like that, really. I live in a country that is free. Do you know that it has been proven that those who live in what is called free countries can still be in as much personal and spiritual bondage as those who live in places where there is no physical freedom. Some of you are in, in prison, imprisoned 
because of ignorance. But God has come to set you free. Now listen to what somebody says. This is the reason. Because human beings are prisoners of their complexes. Prisoners of their tendencies. Prisoners of selfishness. Prisoners of their ambition and envies and vices. And everything that constitutes the dark side of human psychology. But God has come to set you free. If you will give him a chance today. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has a plan for your life. You may wonder, well, you know, I am looking old now and maybe my face is sagging and my strength is failing. Maybe there is no use for me anymore. And in the countries where euthanasia is allowed and they call it mercy killing, the value of life has reduced suicide all over the place but let me tell you what the word of god says even though your outer man perishes your inner man is renewed day in day out so don't you ever worry if you feel weakness on your limbs or arthritis already if you feel that you cannot jump like you once did, if you feel you cannot run and move at the speed you did, don't you worry because your inner man can be renewed day after day after day because you are a spiritual being made fearfully and wonderfully by the Almighty God. You may be defaced, but you are not erased. Your walk in Christ as an adopted child of God, can never be diminished. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. You carry God's power in you. The creative genius of the Almighty lies in you. There is kinship in you. There is dominion inside of you. Do you know the power of praise can release the supernatural into your situation right now? Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. How marvelous is God's work upon your life. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Power, Christ in you, the hope of glory. God has given you all that pertains to life and godliness. Whatever you will need, he already provided. He even says you are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. So you reign over the earth, not 